Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Mini Kit Monday. Today we are going to be doing the third layout for Mini Kit Monday, February 2024. We do have this final photo of a puppy because that's my love language this year for 2024, <laughs> at least for Valentine's Day. You can see right here, I did pull out this wood grain paper. I love that wood grain paper. We are going to use it, but just a little chunk of it. We're also going to be using some of that white cardstock, and then we'll be using another paper for a border. I'm still super into bordering my layouts. You can see right here, I did want to use that wood grain as kind of one of the main papers around the puppy. The puppy is a brown lab, so, you know, kind of the making the brown play on the brown. I do love this paper right here. This might be one of my, well, this might be my favorite paper in the this collection. This is the Love Notes collection by Close to My Heart. I do love this floral paper as well, but I do think those hearts might, might really be more for me. I am going to go ahead and mat the photo with this nice kind of a peach color. We'll give it kind of a thin mat, maybe about an eighth of an inch, not super thin, but a little thin. We can still see the um, the pattern poking out behind there. I remember when I first started doing YouTube videos, I had a comment. I used to make my borders so thin on my photos, and I had this one comment. Someone said, why do you even bother matting your photo? You can barely see. You can barely see what's behind it, which was true, but also that's the look I liked at the time. So, hmm, kind of, thank you for your comment, but also not helpful. <laughs> so you can see right here, I do have these two circles I previously cut out. You can, over at the right-hand side, those are all my embellishments, and I'm trying to get all of them to work. I do have a couple of these uh, strips right here, the white strips. I did not adhere those down but i am going to use that as an element on the layout just so um erin can do journaling on the strips if she wants so this is a layout that is going to go to erin so i will leave those strips with the layout but i'm not actually going to adhere those because i don't know if she wants to actually write or not so yeah we'll just include those but not adhere those down you see right here, I found this little love sticker. It's so cute. I am going to keep it up at the top and poke it out. And I keep trying to make these glossy flowers work. They're um, from an embellishment pack, a close to my heart embellishment pack. And I just haven't been able to get them to work throughout the whole Mini Kit Monday month. Right here, I did find some banners on the sticker sheet and I absolutely love them. I am going to make a little banner feature right here. It is so cute. However, when I go in to um, mm, adhere them down, you know, permanently, that big red one you see right there, it's got some heart outlines on it. You can't hardly see them. They're very, very light. However, in person, you really can. And they end up going the wrong direction. I don't notice this until much later. So right here, I do have this piece of pattern paper. I'm going to go ahead and cut out a pattern or a banner shape out of that pattern. And it doesn't, the striped piece doesn't end up staying there. Neither does that berry sweet. I thought if I left the berry sweet on there, I had to tie in a bear. So I, I know, right? So I am going to go ahead and just use that be mine as my title instead of the berry sweet. Here I've got one of those puffy hearts. It's super cute. You see those gold scallops at the top and bottom we put down? That is from washi tape. I put the washi tape down on a piece of white cardstock and just fussy cut it out. We are going to be using those elements though. I'm going to put, be putting one at the top of this strip right here. And I'm also going to be putting one along the bottom of that wood grain. So let's go ahead and commit to the placement of our white cardstock with the floral border. I am going to gut this paper out because it's gorgeous and I want to use it more. <laughs> I don't want to waste all that big chunk. If, if it's a pattern paper that maybe is not my favorite, I will just leave it full and intact. But if it's a piece of paper that I have limited amount of and it's one that I love, I'm going to go ahead and gut the center of it. And that's what we did here with this floral paper because I thought it was super pretty. We're going to go ahead and commit to this strip right here. Super pretty with that gold foil um, scallop up at, the, up, up, up at the top, right? English is my first language, but it's hard for me today. 
So here's where I go ahead and put those banners. Oh, nope, we're not putting them down yet. We gotta adhere this piece as well. Boop. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and commit to the banner placement. And here is where I noticed that those um, hearts are going in the wrong direction. See that striped paper? We did originally have it with a striped up. Yeah, I flipped that over and I'm putting my favorite paper up. I wanted this stripe initially because I wanted just to have more of those colors in there. But yeah. It's not, it didn't work for me. So I went ahead and flipped it over. Here's that one. And you can see I went to put it down and I was like, oh, wait, those hearts are going sideways. That's not going to work. And so I took it away. There was a smaller banner with that same pattern on it. That's that red banner right there. So I did add that one. Just a little bit of it shows in the end. And then I also added this little floral banner, which was part of the sticker sheet as well. The B mine, I am going to be popping up on some foam tape. Seeing if another um, heart might work, but no, we're just going to have that one. The hearts I use, I use two of the deeper red, which is more of a scarlet color red. And then I use one that's kind of peach in the um, embellishment that goes down here. Now, this embellishment cluster that we're getting ready to put down here in the bottom I don't think that was originally the plan. I knew I needed something because I didn't have enough. I didn't cut a long enough strip of that gold foil washi, right? And I put it on cardstock and fussy cut it out. So I did not have enough of it and I didn't want to go through that whole thing again. So I just cut it apart and that embellishment cluster right there is filling the gap where I stretched it apart, where I cut it apart and stretched it. All right, now I did find a picture of my life card. It is from a wedding set and it had all these gold florals on them. I went ahead and fussy cut out the florals. I wanted a little bit more gold on there since I pulled in that washi. So I found that picture of my life card and I fussy cut out all the florals in this little leaf bit right here as well. So that's going to be my embellishment. I, I know I say it every time. I totally miss those picture my life cards close to my heart please bring those back i need those in my life okay we are going to finish off with some gold splatters this is i believe this is the one from jen hadfield the gold glitter from jen hadfield i had a friend of mine um you know a scrappy friend a youtube friend send me some of those a couple years ago and i'm still working on that bottle so yeah it's lasted quite a while and i love it still thank you for the gold shimmer a couple years later again <laughs> all right guys i want to thank you so much for joining me if you'd like to support my channel please go to beckybidding.closetomyheart.com also please remember to check out all the mini kit monday ladies we have kathy and dolly both linked down below and i will see you next time bye guys